Ooh. Fun lighting today. What's up, everybody? My name is Russ with rwgresearch.com. Most of you know that, but I thought I'd let you know anyway. Also, quantumgravityresearch.org. My camera's a little slanted, but that's right. We'll leave it hang. We'll just lean this way. Look, uh, I just wanted to let all of you know that I really appreciate you guys just so much. I went to the extraordinary uh, Tesla Tech Extraordinary Technology Conference. Thanks to you guys and Steve uh, Ellswick for actually inviting me. And then you guys are the reason that I was even invited um, because without you guys, uh, I'm just a guy talking to the camera. So really, you, you really got, I mean, I know I say that a lot, but you guys don't understand, and gals, that you are the reason I continue doing this stuff. So I just wanted to talk about the Tesla Tech Conference real quick. Um, I did have a really good time the short period I was there. Unfortunately, I came basically on a Thursday late night, like 8 o'clock at night, 10 o'clock at night. It was really late, probably, probably 30 their time. Um, and then I spoke on Saturday, or, or Friday, excuse me, I spoke on Friday. I got to spend a little time there. Uh, at the conference and just enjoyed the people I got to meet that I never got to meet yet. I got to speak with those people that I've I've talked to on email and stuff and on phone but never really got to communicate with in person. That was that was really nice. Uh, so that was kind of Friday and just kind of hung out and just enjoyed the conference. Uh, and then Saturday I was only there until about noon. So Saturday night and then Sunday you know there was lots of other things going on that I didn't get to be a part of. Um, so I didn't really get like the whole, you know, realm of the Tesla Tech Conference. I just got the short period I was there. And again, that was because of uh, devoted time to my family. And I just had that newborn, as you guys know, and I've got four other ones. Uh, not making excuses, but they are all under four and a half. Um, Riley, my oldest, is going to turn uh, five in about, you know, four five months, something like that. Um, so it's pretty intense uh, for my wife to be there by herself. And so just keep that in mind. That's why I cut my time short. Unfortunately, I had to do that because um, I love my wife. And, you know, without my... Some people don't understand that either. And I shouldn't throw this in this video, but I'm going to. Some people don't understand um, that... You know, without family, I don't really have much to work for. I'm, I'm doing this stuff for you guys, for me, for my family, and for the future. Um, and so if I had just you guys, it would be, you know, like 50% of the, of, the, uh, of the feedback. But since I know in my heart that I'm doing this for my family, I'm doing this research, trying to do something good, you know, going to the conference like this and speaking to people about things I, I you know, I, I throw life things in my speeches sometimes. So anyway, some of you guys uh, just don't understand that, and I just thought I'd share that with you real quick in this video, I guess. But anyway, uh, that's it. I have been working on uh, other projects. You see all the cells in the background? Um, okay, I've been doing some tuning and some testing and some just stuff. Uh, there was a couple people leave comments, uh, and I would like to address that really quickly. Um, some some uh, there was a few comments people left and I I I I respect and thank you for the open opinion that you've given me. Uh, you know I'd rather you be honest with me and just tell me what you think versus uh, you know not. So um, a few of you left comments like uh, hey I thought things weren't going to change that you you know you got this new job and things have changed and stuff. Uh, as far as I'm concerned I have not done anything different. Um, you know, I've always been working on the 3D printer, so I've been making 3D printer videos. I've been working on the Stanley Meyer stuff, so I've been working on that, like, a lot. You, you, some of you don't realize how much time is put into the things that are sitting behind me, but quite a bit of time. Um, a part of my job here at uh, Quantum Gravity Research, okay, which is where I'm employed at, um, is to take care of some of the piddly things around the, the property here that I'm on. I'm in a guy's garage, okay? So there's things in the house here and in the garage that I take care of. I fixed the water heater. I've worked on a couple of water uh, um, uh, purification type systems, and and just uh, just odds and ends. I'm doing. I'm always doing odds and ends. 
which makes time even even more uh, slim. A lot of those things I don't film, I don't record because it's it's totally unrelated. Some of the stuff I'd like to, but again, out of respect to my boss, uh, I'm going to leave the garage, the filming spot. That's what me and him agreed on. We're going to use this spot as filming. Uh, I can do anything I want in here. You know, nothing in here is is uh, private. Everything in here is public. Uh, everything outside of here is kind of his house, kind of his home. You know, kind of his personal thing, and I don't exploit those type of things. So I can't really film like everything all the time. Um, all the little piddly things that I do, I can't really, I can't really film those things. Um, another thing is, uh, you know, I told you guys nothing will change. Everything will just be the way it was. I'm just moving, doing this full time. Uh, I moved 2,000 away, 2,000 miles away from anybody I know. Um, it's just me and my wife and my four kids. There's no one else family-wise here. No one else to help. If I don't help my wife, there's no one else here that can just come over and help, okay? We're making some friends and some family and some of the coworkers here are very close, but it's just, it's not the same. So, you know, before I could just, hey, Ma, can you come over and help me tonight? I need to go do something. I'd go do some research, right? I can't do that. And I didn't do that often, but, you know, I, I, I tend to take care of my family and my wife more because um, if I don't keep my wife sane, then she's going to lose her mind. She's got four children all day at home. Um, I'm the only source of income. It's not worth trying to send kids to daycare. It's just crazy. So, um, so yeah, it just I'm trying to, to, to split family time and work time. And so work time is my research time. I dedicate. I don't take breaks while I'm here. I take a very short lunch, like half an hour. From the time I get here to the time I leave, I'm going, 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 going. I don't just piddle around, you know. And so some, some people just don't realize how much time that I put into this research before. I work 12-hour shifts. I would spend half my, my day, you know, my other job, piddling around with research stuff. I could use machinery there. I did a lot of machining, um, all-hand stuff. Um, I couldn't film any of that because I was employed by this other person, uh, by this other company. But uh, with this other company, as long as I got my work done, it wasn't a big deal. I worked at night shifts, and no supervisors and stuff were around to really, you know, poke around at stuff. So I just got my work done for them, and I, I dedicated I, I, all my time that, that I was supposed to dedicate towards what I'm doing there at my job, and then everything else I just piddled around with. Some of you guys don't understand, but, like, I would drag half of my lab with me and set everything up and try and experiment for two hours tear everything back down and then do all the this, this stuff that I had to get done at, at work you know because I was employed there which I was uh, respectful to that and made sure I got done what I had to get done there so I would literally spend you know four hours a day piddling around with stuff and you know then I come home and piddle around with it for another four or five hours and it's like I would put an eight hour day into my research dedicated time and it's like what you know, when did I spend time with my family? It's like I worked a 12 hour day. I would get no sleep. I would just be drained. And, and after a long period of time, that just wore me out. Flat wore me out. Just exhausted. Uh, but I still got this thing inside of me that says, you know, just this urge to work on this stuff. It's like, it's inside of me. Okay. And so I will never give up. I'll never quit. I will continue doing this and I'll continue doing it open source. Uh, I, I said to myself a long time ago, after I figured out my ego and I figured out, you know, my greed, after I figured those things out, I thought, you know what, the only way to do this is open source. The only way to do this is sharing information freely, which I consider open source. Just nothing but sharely, uh, free, uh, free flowing information. Okay. And just, that's what I consider it. So I will, I will do this as, as long as I can. And a long time ago, I, can, I told myself, I said, I'm not going to ever sign a disclosure agreement. And thus far, I have not. I have made mutual agreements with people. Hey, I'll uh, piddle around with this, or you want me to look at something, or I'll give you your opinion, but if it's under disclosure agreement, I'm just not going to do it. Um, and so I say, hey, I'll take your, you know, you take my word for me to work with this stuff and just leave it at that, and that's what I do. So I've done that here and there. Um, just... But the thing is, is anything I learn, I can share with you guys. I may not be able to tell you directly because I made a, a promise to a person that I wouldn't just exploit their experiment or whatever it is they're doing. 
uh, but I, I can use the information and, and apply it to something and share it that way. So a lot of people don't understand that. Um, I share a lot of information that I'm not supposed to share um, because I didn't sign a disclosure agreement, but it's just word of mouth. But I show it to you in an experiment instead of showing it to you directly. Now that doesn't happen too often. Uh, don't, you know, I can count on one hand probably how many times I've had to do that. Uh, but at the same time, these are the type of things that I'm that I that I've done that you know I I just it's I don't know some some people just don't get it. I know a lot of you do, so sorry for you guys have to watch this and just like hey Russ, I get it, dude. Um, but some of you guys don't, so I just kind of wanted to share that with you, so you know. Um, so anytime I see a uh, anytime I see a comment that's like honest and I appreciate that, but maybe you don't get the whole idea here. Maybe I'll share this video with you. Okay, this video is long enough. Uh, I don't really like you guys just watching me rant, but you know what? Um, yeah, it feels good sometimes to just let you guys know how how how, how I think. Um, some upcoming experiments. I want to play with the magnetizer. Um, I, I really do. I, I'm just trying to work on Stanley Meyer stuff right now and get the cell in uh, the VIC situation, you know, just start uh, really trying to understand that. I have uh, a better understanding, a good feeling about it. Uh, my good buddy Alex Petty, me and him are going to continue working on this. Uh, we had kind of a... Um, he just had some stuff going on that just kind of... When we started working on this originally like four or five years ago, uh, it just kind of didn't work out for us in a timely manner and just not, not, it just, everything kind of fell through as far as being a team and working together. And we have uh, since regrouped and we're working on this together. Uh, and everything's still open source. Everything we do is posted on the uh, forums and just everywhere. There's no reason to be like um, concerned about not sharing stuff. I'm sharing everything I possibly can and I'm doing it live. So. I don't know what else I can give you guys. I don't know. I don't know how else I can be more real and true with you all. So that's all I got. I'm done. Peace and love to you all. Thank you guys and gals. I wouldn't be sitting here right now if it wasn't for you, all of you, anyone that's ever watched a video. You're a piece of it. So, peace. I'm out. I'm gonna go get some work done now.